in 2022. SoundCloud was used by 150 million fans alongside 40 million artists, totaling 320 million tracks on platform. Your favorites cemented the power of these 2022 scenes. It's Atlanta culture. Like, it's an experience. That's what this shit is for, like, to influence other people. Trends come and go, artists rise and fall. But in 2022, the plug scene proved it was here forever. I don't even know what plug music is, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'd say simple chords, a hard-hitting 808s, and repetitive, thoughtful, addictive melodies. The moment was the upload. Some of the top plug tracks from 2022 were Summers, Swing Your Pole, Young Fazo, That's The Way Life Goes, and Can Can Get Zooed. And plug uploads are up 75% compared to 2021. Born on the south side of Chicago in 2011, Drill, an adaptation of ATL's trap music, took the stage this year with a few hits. Some of the top Drill tracks from 2022 were Sleepy Hollow, Die Young, featuring 34780, K-Fly, Shake It, and Ice Spice, Munch. Stylistically, my music, the whole is a vibe. Like, you could work out to my music, you could smoke to it, you could get nasty to it. My vibe, more R&B stuff. Like, you know, that's what I really like to do. I play the balafone. It's like a wooden xylophone. West African music influenced me a lot. The characteristics of Drill shine this year. It's heavy 808s, staccato hi-hats, and snare patterns blasted the sound waves. Funk originated out of the Memphis underground rap scene in the early 2000s. Dark lyrics, processed samples from early hip-hop mixtapes and cowbells were some of its original characteristics. Since then, the genre has grown into multiple other genres. Some include lo-fi funk, drift funk, and house funk. In 2022, interest in funk grew 353% compared to the year before, becoming one of the most popular genres on SoundCloud. Some of the top tracks that popped off this year were Cordell, Murder in My Mind, Canera, Prince of Darkness, and Q, Avoid Me. In the UK, there has been a significant shift to dance music, and in 2022, dance overtook hip-hop as the leading genre. Happening in the clubs, on the radio, in the charts, all at the same time, which we haven't seen for decades. There's also been an acceleration in tempo in the generation who has come out of lockdown. As a result, faster, crazier BPMs. Belters Only, Make Me Feel Good, LF Systems, Afraid to Feel, and Eliza Rose, Baddest of Them All, took the stage this year. They all topped the SoundCloud charts before exploding onto the mainstream. Our genre is like really like known for being like experimental. We don't have any boundaries. My name's Edgar. More people know me as Midwest. I'm 17 years old. Terms such as hyperpop and digicore were thrown around a lot in the early days, but nobody could decide on a concrete name for the scene. SoundCloud's creation of the Digicore playlist helped steer the community toward that moniker. But the norm of quote-unquote Digicore is they reject all norms and categories. The whole scene is so online-based that it's so sick to see the creations that come out from it. The Digicore community is growing and expanding. We've seen this through the rise of hyperpop, and we only see it continuing to progress. Everybody who listens to our music listens to us because they like our music. They can relate to what we're saying. They know who we are as individuals. I want to give people some kind of like outer body experience. It's just a little song I made in 30 minutes on like a YouTube type beat. But it, there's a little bit of something in it that it just goes hard and it's fun. Some of the top Digicore tracks from this year were Midwest, I Know You Hate Me, Twikipedia, Swear to God, and Funeral, Looking Out the Window. Genres took a new form this year. As old and new scenes continue to evolve and grow, we're seeing crazy growth in streams for scenes like SoCal Soul, Brazil Funk, Afro Beats, and Jersey Club. And we don't expect it to let up. You streamed, and we listened. Thanks for being a part of the SoundCloud community. Looking forward to seeing what you create in 2023.